easy when you have your own insurance that yeah, is very easy. so maybe uh, more or less somebody maybe is watching this video and telling me asking herself or himself more or less how how many hours is limited hours more or less uh, an open working there are five five hours five hours so you just have to count the one hour you have to prepare the kids mm -hmm. and then maybe two hours when you take them to the park mm -hmm. depending on what time you wake up with the kids mm -hmm. and then the one hour at night where you have to tell stories in english read mm -hmm. them books in english help them with their homework and that's it hello guys what's up what's up my beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel before even i continue with the introduction of my youtube channel hello guys hi guys what's your name sophie <laughs> <laughs> she's sophie and lona lona hey so guys where are you come from uh from kenya Hongong, yeah. to be specific and you I come from Kenya. Where? Well, to Kukimbia, Eldoret uh, represented. We are coming live. Jogging. <laughs> Jogging. We are coming. <laughs> Jogging. Yeah, tuna, tuna we are coming live from uh, Madrid, Spain, in uh, Europe. So we are here and uh, we have a story to share. Like, Atofi has a very interesting story that I need to put out there. So, because a lot of people have been asking, how can I, how will I, how could I? You know, so let me let us answer that question with Sophie. Sophie came to Spain by how did you came? Uh, uh, I came to Spain as an au pair. An au pair. Maybe for somebody who is not understanding what au pair is, can you explain what? And it... I don't know. Like we don't have like a specific definition of it. Is mm -hmm. you come here, uh, you get a family, you get a host family. Mm -hmm. They help you learn Spanish mm -hmm. and. In return, you help the kids learn English or the family. Uh -huh. But then you have to do minor chores, like uh -huh. maybe taking the kids to the park, uh, making, you know, there are snacks for school, yeah, yeah. waking the school the kids up to go to school, just mm -hmm. minor chores and not so much. So in general, it's to take care of the kids. Yes. So that is our pair. And uh, when, you, when you got this job, were you in Spain or in no, Kenya? No, 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 I was in Kenya and I learned through au pair through my friend. Mm -hmm. uh, she was in Germany mm -hmm. as an au pair, but now she's fully settled there. Right. Uh, that au pair, is it a group? Is it, what, what is it? How, how did you come? Okay, knowing it from your friend, how now did you start did she connect you or, or how did no, you No, she just told me about the website ah there is a website yes there is a website Upea world and Upea world. you you oh. fill your details like your introduction your description mm -hmm. uh what you have like your english level for me because i come from kenya mm -hmm. i am native in english native girl and uh, uh Generally, you just describe yourself, mm -hmm. uh, your passion about taking care of kids, why you want to learn a new language, mm -hmm. um, like what are your interests, why why do you really want to come here, like you know. All right. So, guys, there is this app called Au Pair. Au Pair World. Au Pair World. Can you spell the Au Pair? The Au Pair is A U P A I R dot com. Dot com. Yeah, Au Pair World dot, dot com. com. Right, guys, we, this is a very useful information for those people who want to travel abroad, maybe uh, to get a job. Maybe somebody, you know, uh, it's very different here to take uh, to take care of kids here and maybe back at home, right? Yeah, it's 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 very different because Kenyan kids are independent, yeah. very dependent. Yeah. Like you wake up in the morning, your mom wakes you up, and you know. After I wake up, I need to have breakfast, wash my face, you know, prepare myself. You don't have somebody pushing you around. Mm -hmm. And also, Kenyan kids are very, when, when it comes to playing, they mm -hmm. are very imaginative. They are playing around. They don't mm -hmm. have to depend on a person to take them to the park or to tell them, hey, let's play this game, you know? So, all right. So, after applying for that, on that website, uh -huh. um, how long did it take you uh, to maybe to get a person or a family? A month. It, I, I remember I applied in the first week of November. Mm -hmm. And the last week of November I had a family and I started uh, applying for my visa processes and uh, searching for the documents required to come to Spain. Wow. 100% legal. So 
Did they send you an invitation or a work permit or what did they uh, do? They sent an invitation, an invitation and they sent me an au pair contract. Oh, wow, they give you an, a contract? Yes, and if you get a nice family, they can also pay for your health insurance like my host family did. Oh, wow. So it was very easy for me to, to come here because they did basically half of oh, what wow. was needed from Spain. So what, what you did is to pay maybe for your ticket and uh... no they, they the host family paid half of my ticket and i paid half of my ticket wow so right. it depends on the kind of host oh, family oh, you, you, you get, get. you wow. can get people who are offering to pay the full mm -hmm. or you can get half or you can get a family that tells you you come here and you know uh -huh. it so it's an agreement yes well i think Toffy was very lucky yeah? and maybe someone out, out there that is watching this video kindly share this video worldwide share this video so that people can understand how to come to Europe as an au pair. Au pair is somebody who is coming to take care maybe of maybe kids and uh, but generally it's not taking yeah, care yeah, of, it's oh, helping help, them not, all right. understand English. English. The main purpose of being an to, au pair to, is like an exchange, like a language exchange. Uh, all right, it's not taking care, it's like, oh, all right. Because you, you have minimal working hours. Aha. Uh -huh. So you help, it's like Maybe exchange of culture or something like yes. that. Yes. Wow. More of the language because it depends on yeah. depending on the family. Maybe mm -hmm. There's a family who just they want somebody to speak English and mm -hmm. that's it. They don't want to know where you're coming uh -huh. from or uh -huh. what you're doing. Uh -huh. So it all depends on the kind of family you're gonna get, honestly. Wow. I've been in Spain for two years, but I've not like you know I'm not an opera, so I don't know the details about it. That's why I got Toffee with me to explain because she knows better so maybe uh, it's now you came to Spain uh -huh. you met the family um, how has life been with the family oh well life was very challenging because things turned around to be specific because in the contract there were like four kids mm -hmm. and I was only supposed to take care of two kids but when I came here like I say, depending on the family you get, mm -hmm. I had to take care of four kids and they were pre-teenagers and teenagers in Spain are very hectic. Yeah. They don't listen to anyone, so it caused a lot of commotion between me and the family. It was, yeah. it was, it was hard communicating because you will tell them, please do this, do that. They're like, no, you know, you're, you're here to do that for me. And I was like, no, you know, like they, they don't want to... They just want to depend on you, you know? They don't want to grow uh, up. Uh, all right. So that was the biggest challenge. Yeah, the biggest challenge. So apart challenge. from the kids, the family was okay. Yeah, the fa <laughs> Well, you can't say that. The family was okay. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, so, generally, um, generally, they are always positive and uh, negative. Uh, in, negative, uh, in, yes. Yeah, in, in either way. So what was maybe the... Now you, you are in Spain, huh? Mm hmm after that uh, do you still uh, are you still with that family or no 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 no, no. Or you change the family yes. so when you are here you can change yes when your contract ends you can you change. can get another contract yes depending on how what you feel like maybe you get a good family mm -hmm. you can stay there for like three years but if you get about like a bad family or, mm -hmm. or a family, family with that, challenges yeah, mm -hmm. you can change when your contract is over so they don't have to renew it for another year all right guys so maybe you, you've talked about few hours limited hours so and life in europe is expensive uh -huh. i imagine so paying your bills paying maybe rent so how did you survive side hustles so, ah, you have side hustles apart yes, from that you when you're in your free time you can do babysitting you can teach english to other kids it's very easy uh -huh. because spain is now growing and they need mm -hmm. more english speaking people mm -hmm. and they need the kids to learn english so i can advise people to come to spain and as an au pair and mm -hmm. get side hustle jobs into teaching english so maybe i can say that au pair visa or opens doors for you does yeah it does so people should not fear no it does and uh, in that au pair visa do, do they give you insurance medi medication insurance something like that no it, it's all an agreement to the family like i said earlier mm -hmm. so you can get a family that pays your insurance or mm -hmm. you can get a family that tells you hey this is a good insurance you can start paying for yourself which i think it's better when you have your own insurance because when it, it gets to time like the time 
mm -hmm. the time comes to leave them, you're mm -hmm. gonna be, you're gonna have your own insurance. You don't have to depend on another person to start applying for your insurance and everything. Yeah, guys, talking about insurance, maybe somebody might think, ah, maybe Anytime. it's a, uh, yeah. So maybe, how, how, how much more or less is it? A lot of money that, or you can afford it? Yeah, you, you, you can afford it. Honestly, uh -huh. yes, you can. It's not that expensive. All right. So, and, talking about maybe insurance that expensive, maybe someone just want to come or somebody that don't know maybe in a range of uh, maybe say a thousand euros to one euro how uh, much in between more or less for like the 45 euros is enough for you to get a good insurance 45 euros for how long for a month for a month you pay 45 euros for a month and you can go to the hospital for free you can do wow I never knew that. Yeah, and the, you get the like if you have a prescription for medicine, you get at half of the price. Wow! So it's it's easy when you have your own insurance. That yeah, is. very easy. So maybe uh, more or less, somebody maybe is watching this video and telling me, asking herself or himself, more or less, how how many hours is limited hours? More or less. Uh, I know we are working. There are five. Five hours. Five hours. So you just have to count the one hour you have to prepare the kids, mm -hmm. and then maybe two hours when you take them to the park, mm -hmm. depending on what time you wake up with the kids, and mm -hmm. then the one hour at night where you have to tell stories in English, read mm -hmm. them books in English, help them with their homework, and that's it. So, so it's just more like practical, just practical yes. for them to understand English. All right. So they give you. Um, maybe some au pair give you housing or you live with them or no as an au pair you live with them with them oh, yes right. you you okay. become a part of the family okay. and good families take you wherever they go if they go on vacation they go with you and you get to experience the spanish culture mm -hmm. you wow. get to see places you go you get to know more people mm -hmm. and understand the spanish culture better and in depth uh, but do you think uh let me say maybe you don't understand there's not that understanding with the family do you think is that dangerous or you, just, you can just leave the family or you just uh, tell or, them do you think that is dangerous like maybe maybe other countries that we hear maybe where Kenyans go and maybe they suffer they no for example um, imagine you don't understand with the family and you don't have a job and you don't have money what can you do? What can uh, a person do here? The only advice I can tell is give them a notice, give mm -hmm. the family a notice, mm -hmm. tell them, hey, I'm not uh, coping well with you, I'm not, mm -hmm. or I'm not coping well with the kids, um, and I would like to change, mm -hmm. you know? And you give them, just tell them the next month I won't be here, and in that month you should make sure you're back at the website looking mm -hmm. for other families that you're compatible with them, mm -hmm. and you can get like when you're in spain it's actually easier to get a family mm -hmm. than when you're in, in kenya, kenya because uh, people here they're looking for who bears yeah, day in day yeah. out so there are many opportunities everywhere wow guys isn't that incredible story so guys i don't want to make it longer because she has already explained she has already explained the au pair part of au pair visa so thank you so much for watching this video until the end i'll be doing an interview with lola and uh, to see how she came to Spain as a student. So, thank you so much for watching. Say Bye goodbye. Bye, guys. <laughs> but don't say goodbye because you are the next. So, thank you so much. See you next time. Please subscribe to our channel and share this video. Goodbye. How do you say adios? Ah, adios. How do you, how do you, how do you, how, I want to say, how do you say, how do you say goodbye in Spanish? Adios. All right, guys. Adios. Goodbye. Thank you goodbye. so much for watching.